Hey everyone, this is Finding Value. I want to hit on some uranium companies. I put them all in a spreadsheet, wanted to see what they look like. Uh, I, I, I've got them sorted from largest market cap to lowest market cap, smallest market cap. So the first one, we've got a 3.8 billion Camco all the way down to a pure point uranium group of only 8 million market cap. And hopefully you guys understand what market cap means. Market cap is your price of your share times the outstanding shares and that's the total size of and value of the company. That's what market cap means. The smaller the market cap, the easier it is to grow larger. It's like turning $1 into $2, which is very easy, but turning a million or three million into six million is a little more difficult, if that makes sense. So I've got them rated from largest market cap to smallest market cap. I'm gonna go over very briefly over all of them because there's 13 of them here. So we've got Camco, it's a large cap up in Canada, high grade, 850 million pounds of, of uranium reserves, and they're the big boy up there. Obviously there's bigger ones in the world. There's, you know, uh, Kezek Prom, if I say that right, it's very hard to pronounce. Uh, but Camco's the big boy on this list. Next is Next Gen Energy. They've got a big aero project. That aero project is high grade up in Canada. Uh, if you buy it, it's 530 million pounds. If you buy it, it you're only paying $1.22 per pound, which is pretty cheap. Um, it's not producing yet. We've got Energy Fuels, which is in America. They've got 119 million pounds of reserves. They are producing, but it's low grade. They're using the ISR process. Any low grade uh, United States production is using the ISR process. Which it's called the in pseudo recovery process. That process injects water from the outsides, goes into a middle producing well, processing well, goes up to a processing facility and gets processed and separated. Mm -hmm. That's the ISR process in a nutshell. Uh, so that's UUUU. We've got UEC, same thing, 209 million market cap, 103 million pounds of reserves, low grade in the United States ISR process. We've got uh, Fission Uranium Corp, FCUUF. It's 117 million market cap, 134 million pounds of reserves. You're only paying 87 cents per pound of uranium. It's high grade up in the Athabasca region in Canada. I like it. I like FCUUF. And they are not producing. We've got Global Atomic. That's a company that was uh, brought up from a YouTuber. Uh, so thanks for the comment. I appreciate that. Uh, they are, the ticker symbol is GLATF. 94 million uh, market cap. 44 million pounds of reserves. Uh, I've got a $2.1 per pound, but they also have a, a zinc that they're producing and it's producing cash flow to, to uh, fund this uranium project. Uh, there, it's in Turkey, the zinc mine is, uh, the uranium's in Africa, in Niger. Uh, by listening to the CEO, I looked at, uh, you know, did some research, looked at some of the uh, YouTube clips, listened to them. It sounds pretty promising, and I, and I think it's probably a good one to pick up. Uh, Global Atomic, G-L-A-T-F. Uh, so further, further research if you want to buy that, but they look pretty good and I liked it. Uh, UR Energy, URG, 80 million market cap, 35 million pounds of reserves. It's low grade in the United States. Uh, I've kind of been shying away from some of the really low grade stuff unless they have a great management team. Uh, another one, ISO Energy. It's ticker symbol I-S-E-N-F. It's a junior, junior-ish explorer type company. It's 71 million in market cap. They don't have reserves. They're up in Canada in the Athabasca region. That's where the high grade stuff is. That's where the big boys play. Uh, they have 15 properties in the Athabasca basin uh, that they have projects on. It's backed by NextGen, Camco, and Oreno. Uh, they've hit some high grade you know, drill holes. Looks pretty promising. I think we should put you know, a little money in there because I think it looks pretty good. And when you're backed by these big boys, Obviously, you've got money backed behind you, and you're going after all of. You're going after the big pounds in the ground in the region that you need to be in, which is high grade. So I like ISO Energy, uh, Deep Yellow, D Y L L F, 58 million market caps, pretty dang small, which is good if you're an investor. 71 million pounds in reserves. You're only paying 81 cents per pound right now. Uh, they don't have any debt. High grade in Africa. It's in Nambia. They also have exploration going on, which has a lot more pounds to the ground in their inferred category. Uh, there's another, I think it was like 
60 or 70 million pounds out there. So on their 71, they can do like 70 or 80 million more pounds through exploration and, and convert that inferred over uh, to, to uh, it's not inferred, but it's the other category, indicated. So it, it, we get to move that over and they've got a lot of potential. You got 150, 160 million pounds in the ground and at this price, I think it's a really good deal. Uh, on top of the pounds in the ground being a good deal, they also have a very good management team. They're all ex-Paladin uh, management. Paladin Energy in the last bull market uh, returned, I think it was 100,000 times. <laughs> Uh, or no, it's a thousand times, sorry. A thousand times, but a hundred thousand times percent. So they, they, they know how to do it. They've got good assets. I think that's one you gotta have some money in, D-Y-L-L-F. Another one, Encore Energy, Bill Sheriff. Uh, he's, he was a CEO of a previous company that went up a hundredfold during the last uranium market boom. The, he, and he is bringing that knowledge and running Encore Energy. I think this is a good one to get into. It's US based, 48 million market cap, 32 million pounds of reserves. It is low grade. They're using a group uh, 11 technology. It's a new technology which has less environmental impact. It's an in pseudo recovery process, just like all the other low grades. Um, but the management team's there. You're paying a buck 50 per pound. Uh, so I, I think that's a decent bet. You got to get a little bit of money in there because of the management. Another one's Western uh, Uranium. I don't know too much about it. It's low grade, USA based, but you only pay in 33 cents. Could be a positive or negative there. It's valued so low that maybe they don't have great assets. I don't know. More research needs to be going into Western Uranium uh, in, their, in their assets and what they have and even the management team. But someone brought it up. It is an 18 million market cap. It's a very small company, uh, almost like a startup company. So. We've got baseload energy, B-S-E-N-F. It's a market cap of 15 million, so it's really small. This is a startup company. It's a junior explorer in the Athabasca region. The person who's running this, uh, the CEO, he found 550 million pounds already in the Athabasca region. Uh, he found the Aero project for next gen. I don't, he might have found triple R for fusion, or fission I mean, for fission. I think that their, their shadow project, it's called the shadow project uh, for, for baseload. It's right off the end of where these big other big projects are in the Athabasca, Athabasca Basin. It's right there next to him. He thinks, and, and by looking at some of his clips, that all of the right indications are there to hit it big. And when I mean big, I'm talking, you know, hundreds, of millions of pounds, maybe even up to 850 million pounds. So if you got that, that exploration blood in you, if, you got, if you're that risk tolerance, um, I think that baseload might be one to look into. You've got a guy who knows how to find uranium. You've got all the indications that uranium's on this property. And it's not just one indication, it's like five indications. Like it's, it's probably there, it's just how much is there. And it's a, it's a very good property. It's right where all the high grade stuff is. He's already found a bunch. I bet she's gonna do it again. And it's in the same region. That's a very good bet in my opinion. It lines up with what I like. B-S-E-N-F. It's in Canada, Athabasca uh, Basin. They're gonna be drilling at the end of this year to see what's out there. So if you're gonna go into it, I would go into it now and not wait, you know, three, four, five, six months later because they're, they're going to be drilling at the end of this year. And then we've got Pure Point Uranium Group, PTU, market cap of only 8 million. It's very small. It's high grade up in Canada in the Athabasca region. It's a junior company. It's a very good location. It's got the Hook Lake Project joint venture with Camco and Areno, which are the big boys. Six projects in total. Uh, but the only thing that got me a little weirded out is it looks like all their, their future drilling is in the future and it's out there uh, quite a ways. So I don't know if they just don't have the money. Not too sure. Uh, if you guys know a little bit more about Pure Point Energy, I did look through their presentation. I didn't see, I didn't see too much on why it was delayed as much uh, for their projects. And some of these projects are delayed out in 2030s. So, I, you know, I don't want to give you guys any bad information, but more, uh, more research needs to be done on Pure Point. I didn't get it uh, in the time that I had. 
So hopefully this gives you a little bit better picture on some of the companies that are in the uranium sector. Uh, after doing a lot of the research, you know, I, I obviously have a lot better grasp on the uranium sector and I'm still learning. Uh, I'm, I, I'm a very high level type of, of guy to find the value at the high level. Now I'm kind of trying to dig in and see what companies uh, are looking really good and where I want to place my bets. My bets have always been spread the money out uh, kind of thinly amongst the best, uh, the best companies that I know of and that could be pounds in the ground and management teams uh, and even some of the junior explorers. I like getting my money kind of spread out and if some of them go berserk during this, this upcoming bull market, I'm going to capture some of that. So this is Finding Value. If you like clips like this, I'm going to keep making some. Uh, subscribe, comment. The more comments you guys have, I'm going to dig down and use my, my research and experience and my investment experience to help you guys find one companies and to find opportunities out there. Thank you.